Yeah, it's Jessica's. Um, have you shown it to Antonio? Vega's on the east side of the area. We found this in the northwest quadrant. All right, I'm going back out there. No, you are not going anywhere, Nash. You're no good to anybody with a bad angle. You're staying here. I can't just sit here and do nothing. You're going to have to. We can't afford to lose somebody in the snow, all right? I know how much she means to you. I'll keep you posted. No way. Vicky's not to blame for any of this. This is all you. That's bull. Vicky's not the one that threw Jessica in that car and dragged her to that bar over and over again. She begged you not to take her there. She hated it. She hated it so much that she blacked out the second she got there and I had to take over. If you had it just listened, if you had it just given a damn, that's the problem, isn't it? You're so selfish. You want what you want, no matter what the costs are. You're damn right I do. Because I got a life to lead. So do you. What the hell was I supposed to do with a kid? The only reason I took you with me is because she stuck me with you. Like I was supposed to babysit? Damn it, I was there to have fun. And why wouldn't I? I had little enough chance to do it. I spent most of my life dealing with Vicky's bad news. It should have mattered to you that there was a child involved. And don't give me that I'm an altar crap, because I'm an altar too, and it would have mattered to me. OK, wait a minute. I have a memory coming back. Oh, it's one of Vicky's memories. Last year, RJ Gannon's apartment? Huh? You're smoking a cigarette? You set the place on fire? You almost killed Bologna's brat. Did a child matter to you then? That was different. Oh. That was different. I didn't, I didn't understand what it was like to be responsible for another life. Right. You didn't understand it then. I didn't get it way back then. Don't you get it? I was not born to be a mother. I was born for one reason and one reason only. Same as you, kid. To look out for number one. Because Vicky and Jessica couldn't do it. Vicky was sick. She's, she was sick. Uh -huh. She just let her altars destroy her daughter's life. I'm really sorry. I know you've been holding a grudge against me your whole life, but you know, you've been barking up the wrong tree. You want somebody to pay? You go collect from your mother. You don't understand, David. This isn't just about me anymore. Bo is involved now. He's, he's involved in it, too. Exactly. That's why if we tell the chief of police about this murder we've been hiding for 20 years, he can help us get something on Spencer. Wow, that's a really bad idea. I'm sorry, Paige. We're going to have to think of something else. Look, I appreciate your wanting to help. I do, but I need to figure this out by myself. And if I come up with something, I will call you. I promise. But right now, I think we need to handle it on our own. This has something more to do than just the murder and your son, doesn't it? You've got Bo involved. I'm sorry, I can't say. Paige, it doesn't have to be like this. If you change your mind, you know where I am. Actually, maybe you don't. I'm at the Angel Square Hotel between the ice machine and the alley. The ice machine hasn't worked in over two weeks. What was Vickers doing here? Oh, I'm... I'm scared. About what? I, I'm afraid that this... this baby... will destroy us. No, oh, God. Oh, honey. Look, 
Whatever happens, uh, wherever your son is, whatever kind of a man that he's grown up to be, we're going to be ready. It's not going to come between us because nothing can now. Right? I promise you. Hey, feel better? A little. I actually hoped that I could wash the uh, courtroom or Statesville off of me, but um, no such luck. I think your expectations were probably a little bit too high. Yeah. Seems like every time I closed my eyes, I would hear the gavel pounding, hear the judge, and my chest always just seemed to close up on me again. Yeah, it's going to take some time. All those memories will fade away. I don't want to waste any more time. I just want it over. But you can't make that happen, can you? As a man, I often wonder. So you really liked the party? Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. I wasn't so sure you'd be big on the idea. That was some lecture you gave me about not getting involved in your career. I thought we were dancing, not talking. Hey, did you find it? Because look, my ankle is fine. It's good to go. You're pointing the right direction on there. Uh, I don't think we need to go look at them more. I think we found them. Where are they? We went on the trail uh, where they found the bracelet, and there was this chimney in the distance, and smoke was coming out of it. Did you go in? No, we couldn't get to it. There's a landslide. We're going to need equipment to get it out of the way, and we'll do that tomorrow. I'll get over the rocks. Look, where there's smoke, there's fire, right? Now, wait a Nash. At least we know exactly where they are. Look, it ain't like I got no heart, OK? I feel for you. I really do. Obviously, you went through some kind of hell. If I were you, I sure would want to crucify the person who put me there. I thought that's what I was doing. But now that I know what the real tale is, I know exactly who to hate. Victoria. Victoria. I'll see you at home. Yeah. See you there. Is it worth ruining Bo Buchanan's life? from your mind, but I can't. All I can do is try to comfort you and be here for you and hope that when you close your eyes tonight to go to sleep, you'll wake up in the morning and realize that the whole world is not against you. I know. I remember so vividly the very first time I laid eyes on you, and it just seemed so, so familiar, as if I had recognized something, if I had recognized all of the qualities that I could ever desire and hope for in a woman. Resilience, inner strength, integrity, outer beauty, 
all those things wrapped up in one perfect person. Those are the things that I see when I look at you. And I always will.